Nika, also known as Toraji internationally, continues to intensify, and for all intents and purposes, this is a typhoon. I know JMA and Pegasus are rating it as severe tropical storm, but if I was the one to be analyzing it at this point, this has got that inner core of an eye wall. We have those colder cloud tops that uh, define center of circulation. I guarantee if we had recon and hurricane hunters out here, this would be upgraded to those 64 knot threshold. Regardless, though, it is going to be making landfall as a typhoon at this point uh the joint typhoon warning center even expecting it to make landfall possibly as a cat 2 approaching cat 3 status oh those winds out here at 90 knots i mean this is going to be uh just a pretty strong storm system slamming into aurora carino isabella uh just around cassie goron where you're going to be seeing that landfall here and quickly and i'm going to touch more on this in this video uh you have of course this storm we are still watching mars uh also known as Jingxing just off the coast of Hainan south of Hong Kong which if the other storms weren't taking place that would be a full update plus we have Manyi which is out here just towards the east of Guam and another tropical depression with all sorts of convection so one two three separate storms four separate storm systems at this time and three actively named storms via the Japan Meteorological Agency, which is the first time we have seen that in the month of November in 56 years. In the month of November. It's happened almost in the past, but the point is, uh, yeah, this, stuff like this going to become more and more common. And I only say because you couple that with the fact that we had a major hurricane in the month of November in the Atlantic it just kind of shows you just how powerful and how long-lasting these hurricane seasons are with warmer sea surface temperatures. But I digress. Let's talk about our impacts from our storm system right now uh, approaching the Philippines, which on satellite imagery, one thing I want to note on the satellite is this has got a big girth on it, too. And what I mean by that, it's not – look at the, the width of it compared to the width – of uh, Yingxing off here towards the west. Uh, Nika's going to have a pretty decent impact on uh, the Bicol region. Uh, we're talking about Cat de Duanas as well. Even though that center is going to be tracking towards your north, I do expect some heavy rainfall. Not quite Christine levels, but think of Christine when we're thinking of this because that low level center is tracking towards the north. But if we go back to our satellite picture here, you can see what I'm talking about. We'll zoom right in and it's this banding right in here that I'm a little worried about. You see this guy right here? Kind of, hold on, I'm going to circle it for you. We'll put this back on the screen. This one right here, as this comes on shore, this is just going to be bringing some heavy rainfall across Samar, uh, the Bicol region, Legaspi and everything. So yeah, even though that center is coming up here, just be it, pay attention to these rain bands and pay attention to your local heavy rainfall warnings as this continues to track off here towards the west. With that landfall, Monday morning probably, but impacts already starting here on Sunday night, adding in the Monday morning. Uh, traversing uh, the region to Cagayan Valley throughout the day on Monday. And then uh, exiting uh, here as we go ahead through our um, Tuesday morning uh, off towards the west. And then at the same time, we got another area. Look at this. Look at that. Another one right on its heels. It, so it, it potentially back to back the back storm systems here and that second one's not really money that's actually the other tropical depression towards the south of guam we're monitoring uh so yeah here's a high resolution look at the guidance actually i'll loop that through one more time so you can kind of pinpoint where you are here into central and northern luzon as we go ahead through our day on monday so this is monday early morning look at the eye developing just offshore this slams into the Cassiguron area most models agree on that landfall in that spot heavy rainfall especially towards the north in these already saturated areas of the Kakayan Valley. The river's already running high, so we could be looking at water level rises with that severe threat of flooding here. And this is just actually the rainfall accumulation through the day on Monday, heading into Tuesday over towards Wednesday. And then look in the tail. Here's another round of precip potentially from our next storm. Now, hopefully that one turns towards the north. There's a possibility, and I'll talk about that more in just a moment here, guys. Well, let's concentrate at the problem at hand and that is currently nika uh here on monday let's zoom off towards the north so uh this would be monday at noon time and as we scoot off here you can see still some scattered showers towards south even over towards manila but 
it is central and northern Luzon that is just going to be getting dumped on here throughout the day on Monday. The heaviest being in the Sierra Madre Mountains, of course, because the mountains is going to squeeze out all that moisture. But a lot of this is going to trail off uh, towards the west. Meanwhile, multiple other storms, this tropical depression. So money is probably going to fade out, actually. But this one towards the south of Guam could intensify and head out towards the Philippines and really run over the same ingredients that we're seeing with the last two, which means a typhoon is for sure in the cards here. Now, the good news with the ECMWF, it churns it at the last second, but still a long ways out. So we're going to continue, of course, to keep a very close eye on it, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness. So much happening. Big thanks for our Patreon members, by the way, who support this channel. I can't stress enough just how wonderful you guys are. I know that sounds weird. How wonderful you are. But to be honest with you, um, thank you so much. And you're the reason why these fantastic graphics we have for Metro Weather, everything else I'm able to do with these updates, uh, it is possible because of our Patreon members. So if you want to help out this channel, um, make us better, check out the link down below. Okay, I, I know there's a lot of new people here. So at the very least, hit that like and subscribe button. Don't go anywhere just yet. Before you go, just hit it. It helps me. It truly does. It, it's a silly thing to say. And I know people are sick of people saying, hit that like and subscribe button, blah, blah, blah. It's very cliche, but it does help. It helps get this um, these updates because the YouTube algorithm. All right, I digress. Uh, here is Wednesday night, heading into Thursday morning, the ECMWF. Here's the GFS. GFS really, you know, ECMWF churns our next storm south of Guam, that tropical depression, intensifies it to a typhoon, makes landfall, exact same area. <sighs> this could be three typhoons in less than a week to hit the Cagayan area. Um, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could control these storms. I truly do. Uh, but, uh, back to back to back storms and with this one intensifying quickly this next one same area um the only saving grace we could have is this and you see all this kind of lighter blue in here um that is uh upwelling from our multiple typhoons causing the oceans to kind of be stirred up a little bit so it brings cooler water to the surface um that could help us just a little bit but not a lot so uh boy oh boy like i said for all intents and purposes though i believe if we had recon we'd have a typhoon on our hands so yeah be ready for one don't take this don't get typhoon fatigue be smart i'm not an official agency so make sure you check out pagasa but you are being informed which you are taking the proper steps so inform your friends and family and let's all make sure there's no fatalities thank you God, you know, there was no fatalities in the last storm. Let's make it a twofer and make sure everybody stays safe in this one again. As always, thanks for watching. The number one thing, of course, just said it, but I'll say it again, is stay safe out there, friends. All right, have a good day.